Picture this. You're diligently saving money in your bank account, but the interest is so low you feel like you're running on a treadmill, going nowhere fast. It's a common story, isn't it? Stashing away your hard-earned dollars in a bank, hoping to see it grow, only to find that the return is as exciting as watching paint dry. Welcome to the great savings conundrum. We live in an era where bank interest rates are as low as a limbo bar at a contortionist party. So what do you get? Pennies, maybe a couple of dimes if you're lucky. But let's face it, that's not going to get you very far, is it? But hey, don't put on that frown just yet. It's not all doom and gloom in the world of finance. There are other ways to make your money work for you, ways that might just put a spring in your financial step. So, what's the solution? Stick around as we dive into options beyond traditional savings accounts. Let's face it, bank interest rates these days are about as exciting as watching paint dry. While might be a tad dramatic, it's not far from the truth. In our current financial climate, bank interest rates are at historic lows. What does this mean for you and your savings account? Well, let's just say your money isn't exactly breaking a sweat. This low interest environment makes it tough for your savings to grow. Think of it like trying to run a marathon while walking. It's not impossible, but it's going to take a while. And while your money is slowly crawling towards the finish line, something called inflation is running laps around it. Inflation is that pesky little thing that makes things more expensive over time. Remember when a candy bar used to cost a quarter? Yeah, inflation did that. It's like a stealthy pickpocket, slowly eroding the purchasing power of your money. So if you're keeping all your money in a traditional savings account, it's not just sitting there, it's actually losing value. It's a bit like trying to fill a bucket with water when there's in the bottom. You're not gaining ground, you're losing it. Now, don't get me wrong. Traditional savings accounts aren't all bad. They're insured by the FDIC means that even if your bank goes belly up, your money is safe. Up to a certain amount, of course. So, they're a pretty secure place to stash your cash. But here's the thing. If you want your money to do more than just play it safe, if you want it to grow and work for you, then you might need to look beyond the traditional savings account. You might need to explore the exciting world of investments. Because let's be real, ladies and gents. Your money was a superhero. Would you want it to be a slow-moving turtle? Or would you want it to be a soaring eagle? I mean, turtles are cool and all, but come on. We're talking about your financial future here. In the face of inflation and low interest rates, it's clear we need to look for alternatives. So, let's buckle up and dive into the myriad of investment options that could potentially turbocharge your savings. Stay tuned. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial insights. When it comes to growing your money, one size doesn't fit all. Your goals matter. It's crucial to understand that your financial goals play a significant role in shaping your investment strategy. The timeline of your financial goals, whether they are short-term or long-term, can drastically affect the type of investment options that are best suited for you. Let's start with short-term goals. These are your immediate or near-future needs, like setting up an emergency fund or saving for a vacation. For these goals, you'll want investment options that provide easy access to your funds without a significant risk of losing your initial investment. Think of high-yield savings accounts or certificates of deposit. These options offer a higher interest rate than traditional savings accounts and your principal is typically safe. Now let's move to long-term goals. These are financial objectives that are more than five years away, such as saving for retirement or a down payment on a house. In these cases, your priority is typically growth, and you can afford to take on a bit more risk for the potential of higher returns. This is where options like index funds or robo-advisors come into play, these investment vehicles offer the opportunity for higher returns over time, but they come with the risk of market fluctuations. It's important to note that different investment vehicles cater to different time frames. High yield savings accounts and CDs are excellent for short term goals, while index funds and robo advisors are better suited for long term objectives. But remember, these are just examples. The world of investments is wide and varied, and there's something out there that fits your unique financial goals and risk tolerance. In conclusion, when you're planning your investment strategy, start by identifying your financial goals and the timeline for each. From there, you can explore the investment vehicles that align with your objectives and risk tolerance. Remember, your financial goals should guide your investment choices. Your journey to financial freedom isn't about following the crowd, it's about choosing the path that's right for you. Now let's explore the exciting world of investment options beyond your traditional savings account. First on the list, higher yield savings accounts. These are not your regular savings accounts. 
Online banks often offer these with better interest rates than traditional banks. But remember, not all that glitters is gold. Do your homework, check the credibility of the bank, and ensure it's FDIC insured. You don't want your money to take an unexpected vacation, right? Next, we have certificates of deposit, or CDs if you want to sound cool at your next dinner party. CDs are a type of time deposit where you agree to lock your money in for a specific period, in exchange for a fixed interest rate. Sounds good, right? But there's a catch. If you withdraw your money before the agreed time, you'll face penalties. So, it's like a pact with your money, you both agree to not see other people for a while. Moving on to index funds. These are diversified, low-cost investments that track a market index. Think of it as buying a little piece of the entire market. While the potential for returns is high, remember the market is like a roller coaster ride. It can go up, but it can definitely go down. But hey, who doesn't love a good thrill? Lastly, let's talk about robo-advisors. No, they're not robots who give advice. They're automated investment platforms which use algorithms to manage your portfolio. They're like your personal Wall Street trader, minus the suit and tie. They're typically low-cost and user-friendly, making them a great option for beginners. But like any investment, it's crucial to understand what you're getting into. So, do your research and choose a robo-advisor that suits your needs and risk tolerance. In conclusion, there's no one-size-fits-all investment. What works for your neighbor might not work for you. It's like choosing a Netflix show. We all have different tastes and that's okay. It's about finding what suits your financial goals, risk tolerance, and investment horizon. So, roll up your sleeves, do your research, and dive into the world of investments. Remember, you're not just saving money, you're growing it. And who doesn't want their money to grow? As you can see, there's a whole world of investment opportunities beyond your bank savings account. Before you jump headfirst into investing, there are a few things to consider. The world of investing is like a chess game. It's not about making one quick bold move, it's about strategy, understanding the game, and making calculated decisions. Firstly, research is key. Just like you wouldn't buy a car without doing a test drive, you shouldn't invest in something without understanding what it is and how it works. Make sure to do your homework. Look into the different investment vehicles available, their potential returns and risks associated, and remember, if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Secondly, let's talk about risk tolerance. This is the degree of variability in investment returns that an investor is willing to withstand. Think of it as your financial comfort zone. Are you a cautious player, sticking to safer moves, or are you a bit of a daredevil, ready to take on higher risk investments for potentially higher returns? Understanding your risk tolerance will guide you in choosing the right investments for you. Thirdly, diversification is your best friend. It's the age-old advice. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. By spreading your investments across a variety of asset classes, you can help reduce risk. If one investment doesn't perform well, others might. It's like having a safety net. Lastly, it's worth considering consulting with a financial advisor. They can provide personalized guidance, especially if you're dealing with complex investments. It's like having a coach in your corner, helping you make the best moves. Remember, investing isn't about getting rich quick, it's about growing your wealth over time. It's about taking control of your financial future, not leaving it to chance or low bank interest rates. Investing isn't a gamble, it's a strategic move. Make sure you're informed and prepared. So, what have we learned today? We've learned that traditional savings accounts, while safe, might not be the most effective way to grow your wealth. With low interest rates and the looming specter of inflation, your hard-earned money might not be working as hard as you do. We've also discovered a world of alternatives, each with its own of risks and rewards. From higher-yield savings accounts to robo-advisors, the right avenue for you depends on your personal financial goals and risk tolerance. Short-term or long-term, there's an investment horizon suited to your needs. And remember, before you venture forth, it's crucial to do your research. Diversify your investments to manage risks, and seek advice from a financial advisor if you need it. Your financial journey is unique to you, and it deserves a tailored approach. Take control of your financial future. Stop simply saving. Start investing. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Your engagement helps us to continue providing you with these valuable insights.